compiled the uh, data and then hopefully we'll get... But to the extent that this report focuses on the public sector, the perceptions of citizens on uh, corruption in their public sector in the respective countries, uh, Africa is not doing well. It's uh, one of the worst regions uh, around the world because uh, the main funding is that citizens in the majority still have to uh, pay a bribe to access basic services. Whereas in other regions, corruption is there, yes, but uh, in less visible ways and it happens at different levels than those that affect the daily lives of citizens. It's quite surprising and uh, alarming for, you know, on the continent to see that well, the business executive, for the first time, they are actually coming out you know, second. On top of it is the police that were found to be corrupt. And this is really worrying because you're looking at the private sector where we believe that well, they have a key role to make in terms of development on the continent. And knowing that well, the private sector is not clean enough as well, we know that well, things are not going so well for the, for the, for the continent and the poor, you know, the poor citizens are actually being affected because we're losing a lot of finances, be it through illicit financial flows and the like. So we need to clean up you know, the private sector in terms of the business executives. Maybe I would try to say it's uh, the recommendations that are out there because if you're looking at the fact that well, most, almost 75 million and that's the estimate in the, you know, on the continent that well, people have paid a bribe. We are looking at it to say there is need for government to do much more in terms of strengthening the laws, even coming up with the, uh, laws in terms of on information, the whistleblower protection, so that we can have many people who are able to report freely as well as not feeling retaliation and being intimidated in any way. So that is something that would age uh, for governments as well as even the courts as well in this report. It indicates that the police and the courts are where most people pay the bribe actually in terms of not just perception but then actual payment it has been on the police as well as the court. So we need the judges as well as government to make sure that well, we end impunity and we make sure that people receive all the information, the services that they need without paying a bribe because that's their right to access to the other services that they need.